this episode we are working with uh, a scenario whereby the denominator contains repeated factors. So we want to work with this example. The example uh, we have the linear factor on the denominator. I think we have dealt with that uh, scenario in episode one. Uh, but then we also have a repeated factor that's x minus one. So it's repeated in the sense that x minus one squared is equal to x minus one. X minus one. So how do we express it in partial fractions? So that will be a over x minus two plus b over x minus one plus c over x minus one squared. So we have a hidden factor, and after we have a factor is twice, we start to increase the power. That's first scenario we are starting with power one. Scenario uh, the second uh, part we have power two. We will increase with the power three. We also go to v over x minus one with the power three. So here it is repeated twice. So we just have two uh, two parts of the same uh, factor. So this now becomes 3x squared minus 5x plus 7 is equal to 8 times x minus 1 squared plus b times uh, x minus 2, x minus 1 plus c, x minus 2. x is equal to, to eliminate these first two parts when x is equal to 1. So when x is equal to 1 plus 2, uh, plus 7, 9 minus 5, 4 is equal to plus 0. When x is equal to 1, it's 1 minus 2 minus c. So c is equal to minus 4. Same when x is equal to when x is equal to 2 to eliminate uh, plus 2 parts so when x is equal to 2 this becomes 4 times 2 4 times 2 that's 8 minus 10 plus 7 equal to 2 x is equal to 2 that's 2 minus 1 that's 1 minus 3 so 8 so that's 8 plus 7 8 plus 7 that's 15 15 minus 10 x is equal to when x is equal to you just pick any value remember you already have the value of a and the value of c we are only left with the constant with the constant b so when x is equal to just pick any value when x is equal to zero so when x is equal to zero zero seven is equal to x is equal to zero that's a plus when x is equal to zero zero that's minus two times minus one that's two b is equal to 0, that's minus 2c, but remember the value of a is equal to 5, plus 2b, and the value of c is equal to minus 4, so we have uh, 5 plus, 5 plus 8 plus 18 plus 2b, uh, so we got 2b will equal to minus Minus one, that's minus six. Minus three. So your final answer will be two x squared minus five x plus seven over x minus two. X minus one squared will be equal to your a equal to five. So that's five over x minus two. Your b is equal to minus three. Your c is equal to minus four. So that's how you uh, express in partial fractions in a scenario whereby the denominator contains a repeated factor.